your deployment strategies you will find something useful today so let's quickly go over the agenda for today's session we will be covering uh, four areas to help understand how to deploy your web app using uh, azure devops and azure portal with uh, github as the source code repository okay so first of all uh, we will set up the azure devops pipeline with a uh, github github source okay this connection will allow azure devops to the pool uh, code from uh, from github and trigger automate builds every time a change is made okay i will show how to authenticate your github account select the right repository and uh, ensure the pipeline is ready to build your app then uh, once you we have linked the github to azure devops the next step is to create and configure ci cd pipeline we will define the steps needed to build test and uh, package our web app this pipeline is the backbone of the continuous integration process ensuring the uh, every code change in uh, is built and tested automatically we will use the uh, build uh, built in azure devops template as uh, and customize them for our project need okay then after com configuring the pipeline we will move on to setting up azure app service this is where our uh, web app will be hosted and deployed i will i will walk you through how to create an app service instance in uh, azure portal configure the runtime environment and choose the correct region for optimal performance okay then uh, next we will connect azure devops to azure portal so that our app uh, can be deployed automatically okay this connection ensure the smooth and automated deployment process whenever we trigger our pipeline finally we will run the pipeline and deploy the web app i will show you how to monitor the deployment process in azure devops and uh, verify that the app is running successfully in uh, azure portal okay once the deployment is uh, done we will visit app url confirm that everything is uh, live and functional okay so let's uh, move on to the demo So here you can see my GitHub repository. I am uh, using Node web, web application for the demo. Okay. So here you can see in the index.js file. Okay. We have the one web application. Okay. So we will deploy it in on our De Azure DevOps or uh, and Azure portal. Okay. So let's move on our Azure portal. So here you can see my Azure DevOps project, which is uh, S3 Cloud. Uh, okay so first of all we will go to the pipeline for build our ci cd pipeline to publish our artifacts to create release pipeline okay so just uh, click on the new pipeline here we will select uh, our resource code okay so we have a resource code in our github so we will select the github now we will select the repository okay so here you can see my repository name is node js docs hello world okay so here i am selecting that repository now we have to configure our pipeline so we have to choose our template so we will use node js template and uh, it will generate one yaml file for us but uh, we have to make some changes in this yaml file because we have to generate artifact for our release pipeline okay so i have made one yaml file okay so i will just paste on it here you can see trigger which is a main branch then uh, our uh, virtual image will be open to latest okay then uh, the task first task is uh, install node.js then install dependencies then it will be run, run code okay then here you can see run unit test after uh, following this step it will generate one artifact file okay so we will copy that artifact file in our artifacts drop okay here you can see drop so let's click on the save and run
now here you can see our uh, job is has been started so we will click on that and uh, we will see here the logs here we can see all the process our building process okay so it will take a few time now here you can see all the task for our build job okay first is initialize job then a uh, checkout then install node js okay then end to install and build then copying file to artifacts then publish build artifacts okay this task will uh, take uh, more time it will publish one build artifacts file for us okay so now here you can see after 5 minutes it's uh, done so now it will be run post job and uh, here you can see our uh, ci cd pipeline is run successfully okay so now here you can see in the artifacts we have published one artifact in the drop okay so here you can see all the node modules or uh, more package okay now we have to create one app service for our uh, deployment this uh, web application okay so we will go to the uh, azure portal so here you can see our azure portal okay so now here we will create one azure uh, azure web app service for our web application deployment okay so now just uh, go to the create resource okay now we will create first uh, service plan okay for our billing process as your service plan here you can see app service plan here okay so we will create this now we will click on the create okay here we will select the resource group okay then we will give the name of this service so i will give just web plan okay then uh, i will select operating system as linux then we have to select our region okay so i will select southeast asia then we have to select uh, one pricing plan okay so here you can see pre plan but uh, for our web application we need uh, one standard plan which is a uh, paid okay so i will select standard s1 plan and uh, here you can see the price 7.9 indian rupees per hour okay so i will select this then we will click on the create and review now here you can see all the configuration of our service plan okay so we will click on the create and here you can see deployment in progress for our service service plan now it is done so we will go to the resource okay so now here you can see cpu percentage memory is uh, blank now okay because uh, we have not deployed any service on this plan okay so just click on the home and uh, here you can see our web plan okay now we will create one azure web web app okay here you can see one web app then we will select our resource group and uh, we will give the web app name so i will give s3 cloud up web okay now we will select the code then uh, we have to select a uh, text for our project so, so i am using node js so i will uh, select node 18 lts okay 
then we will select the region southeast asia then our uh, linux plan will web plan okay which we have created just now then we will click on the create and review okay so just click on the create here you can see the deployment in progress so it will take a couple of minutes so we have to waiting Okay, it is done. So we will go to the service resource. And here you can see all the details of our uh, service plan. Here you can see resource group name, then a uh, subscription, and uh, other all the details. Okay, here uh, you can see deployment section. In this uh, deployment section, we can see the deployment center. So we will go to the deployment center. Okay, so now it is uh, empty. Okay, we will uh, deploy our uh, web app on this uh, deployment center. Okay, but uh, we will do this all thing from our uh, DevOps portal. So we will go to the our DevOps portal. Then uh, here you can see under the pipeline section one release option. Okay, so we will create uh, one new release pipeline. For our deployment, okay. So here we will select the template for our Node.js app. Okay. Now we need to add our artifacts. Okay. Which is built by our uh, CI/CD pipeline. So here you can see our project name is S3 Cloud Up. Then we will select this repository. Okay, this build pipeline which we have created just now in this our uh, CI/CD pipeline section. So we will click on the add. now we will click on the here stage 1 in this stage 1 here you can see the some configuration okay now we will select the as a subscription then uh, our app type which is a web app on linux then we have to give the app service name which uh, we have created just now in our azure portal so our app service name is a s3 cloud of web so we will copy and uh, paste it here okay you can select it uh, from this uh, drop down also now go to the deploy azure app service and uh, we need to give our package folder for our artifacts so we will give this uh, whole drop okay so click on the okay and uh, click on the save now here you can see create release so we will click on that and here you can see the pipeline details okay stage 1 so just click on create and uh, our one release has been created so here you can see status is queued so it will take a few minutes for deployment okay here you can see our task is running now initialize job then uh, it's showing download artifacts
uh, from this we can see the logs okay so it is uh, downloading the all artifacts okay so it will take few minutes because uh, we have lots of uh, node modules in our uh, web app okay Here you can see all the process, which is too long. Now here you can see our uh, download artifacts task is done, and uh, here it is deploying our uh, Azure app. Okay, so it is our last task for our deployment. Okay. So now here you can see our deployment process is almost done and uh, it is done. Okay, so we will go to the deployment Azure App Service. Okay, and uh, here you can see one URL for our App Service application URL. So we will open it, and uh, here you can see our Hello World, which is our web page. We can see it uh, from our Azure portal also. So go to your Azure portal and uh, here you can see default domain. Okay. So from that, we can see this web page also. Okay. And uh, now we will go to the deployment center. And uh, here we can see. Our uh, source is Azure Repos and uh, project S3 Cloud of Repository name is uh, Jamin7364, then our uh, repository name. 
and the branch name is main which is connected with our azure devops okay so we have successfully deploy our uh, node js web app on our azure this url you can share anything okay and uh, you can see your web application on any browser or from any network okay so thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt in this video so you can uh, ask me in comment section okay so thank you any question or any doubt